The Planetary Society, the world's largest space interest group, and Cosmos Studios, a venture in science-based entertainment, have created a privately funded space mission that initiates a new age of exploration. This year, science fiction will become science fact. Autumn 2003. A Russian nuclear submarine cruises the Barents Sea above the Arctic Circle. Standing ready in its launch silo, an intercontinental ballistic missile awaits release. This ICBM was converted from a weapon of mass destruction into a launch vehicle for peaceful scientific exploration. It will be the first test of a revolutionary method of travel that could someday take us to the stars. Cosmos One, the world's first solar sail spacecraft. Because of its private funding from Cosmos Studios, the Planetary Society can move quickly and risk failure in ways that would be difficult for a large government organization. This silvery wing is one of eight pedals designed to harness the energy of photons of light. Solar sailing uses the pressure of sunlight to propel the spacecraft between the planets without fuel. In the future, laser light or microwave radiation may propel the spacecraft on epic voyages of exploration. NASA's Voyager 1 and 2 spacecraft, traveling at 35,000 miles per hour, are currently the fastest vehicles ever built by the human species. Incredibly, a light sail can soar through the cosmos at up to 10 times that speed. Solar sailing is our first practical means of rapid transit among the planets, and possibly even a way to ride the light to the distant stars. The launching of Cosmos 1 is a grassroots expedition, spearheaded not by governments, but by ordinary citizens determined to reach a common dream. Sponsored by Cosmos Studios, scientists and engineers from the Planetary Society reached out to Russian colleagues at the Babakin Space Center and the Space Research Institute. Former rivals now stand united in the same grand quest. So what you look at, you see is they've got a number of, of prototypes. Scientists from these two disparate nations toil feverishly to make their deadline of Cosmos One's historic orbital launch, set for the fall of 2003. What's the, uh, the brake switch? We should be coming up on the time. You guys hear me? Hello, do you hear us now? There we go. One hundred years ago, two bicycle mechanics from Dayton, Ohio, set out to do the impossible. In 1903, the Wright brothers succeeded in controlled flight at Kitty Hawk, shrinking the size of our world in countless ways. Our goal, like that of the Wright brothers, is to perform the first controlled flight of a new technology, this time in orbit 800 kilometers above the Earth. The mission of Cosmos One could bring the planets and the stars a little closer. In the words of Carl Sagan, We have lingered long enough on the shores of the cosmic ocean. We are ready at last to set sail for the stars. Cosmos One, space travel for the 21st century. For more information on how you can be a part of history, contact the Planetary Society at planetary.org or cosmostudios at carlsagan.com or solarsail.org. Cosmos One is an attempt to conduct the first flight in space using a solar sail as the primary propulsion system. Success is certainly not guaranteed, but it cannot happen unless we try. 
Solar sailing is the pathway to the stars, the only technology known today leading to interstellar flight. The Planetary Society's vision motivates us to explore new worlds and seek other life. The Society is the first space interest group to conduct a space mission. It is one that we hope will prove an historic first step to the stars. Our ancestors devised a means to ride the winds across the high seas. They began the process of turning our species into an intercommunicating organism, a process that even now remains unfinished on a planet divided by greed, ignorance, and brutality. The names of these ancient explorers are lost to us. Today we honor their courage and genius with this first flight of Cosmos I. We take hope and inspiration from the life of Carl Sagan. He dreamed that we would find a way to illuminate the darkness that threatens to engulf our tiny world, and that we would learn how to ride the light all the way to the stars.